I have today the Rival RS1 2.0, the updated version of that glove, and then the original RS1, where I'm going to score all of these and tell you at the end of the video which one out of the three I think is the best. Hello and welcome to fit to box channel. I'm Simon, former amateur boxer, current amateur boxing coach, and I, on fit to box channel, bring you all things boxing equipment. Today is the turn of the Rival RS1 2.0 gloves. Okay, so in front of me, I've got the 2.0, I've got the updated version, and I've borrowed from a lad at the gym these ones, which I have seen extensively over probably the last three or four years in sparring, the original leather versions. So when the Rival RS1 2.0 came out, I was reluctant to buy it because of one thing. And that was when I looked onto the pictures, I could tell that there was a thumb fault. And that thumb fault was the thumb attachment. Okay, so I could see from that placement of that thumb attachment, that that thumb would not be fit for sparring. These, of course, are billed as a sparring glove, but as you can see from that, there is no way that I would use these for sparring because there is far too much movement. You could easily thumb someone in the eye with that. Not only could you cause damage to their eye, but you could also damage your own thumb. It sticks out so much. And so I was very reluctant to sort of part with some money to get these gloves because of that. Now I did point this out to uh, Rival and I've also mentioned it in previous videos the fact that I thought that that was a fault. Now to Rival's credit they have corrected that fault. So there you can see they've got a bat wing and a big thanks to uh, Chris Firth at Pro-Am Boxing Store, who has sent through these gloves for me to show you my viewers. Of course, he is a rival stockist, so he has these in his store. So I'm going to go through all of these. I'm going to give a score for that one. I'm going to give a score for the updated version, and I'm also going to give an updated score for this one. I have got a score of this already. Let me tell you, the score for this glove is going up. Okay, so just speaking about that thumb fault there, it's really weird because, as always with rival products, other brands do copy. And I have featured a couple of gloves that copied kind of what the RS1 was doing. Um, and the funny thing is, so there was this glove by Phantom um, there, and there was another glove there by Hawk Eye. And the funny thing is, not only have they sort of copied the RS1 2.0, but they also copied the thumb fault on both of these gloves and so as you know when I did the uh, reviews for these both of these gloves I marked them only as a bag glove because both of them in my opinion with too much thumb movement unsuitable for sparring this one is going to be scored as a bag glove this one is going to be scored as a sparring and bag glove so an overall training glove because of that improved thumb attachment with the bat wing the originals they were perfect for sparring. As you can see, they've got a bat wing on there as well. I don't know why they went with that little attachment on the original ones of these when the originals one had a bat wing. So they've pretty much reverted back to the same uh, thumb attachment being a bat wing. So let's have a closer look at these gloves. Okay, Star Wars, how do you tell between the RS1 original and the 2.0? As you can see, there is almost like the Rival logo is hiding behind that line, whereas on the originals, it was the full logo at the back. Also, there was a bigger Ergo lace track system at the rear there, that logo, um, where it's a bit smaller on the 2.0. I preferred it, actually on the originals so when it comes to the style of them as you can see you've got the leather there 
you've also in this one it was leather except for the gold and the lime green ones with these ones they're all synthetic which is super durable synthetic leather from rival these will last for years and years i really have been impressed with rivals uh, synthetic leather now let's just bring them around and show you the knuckle okay the knuckles on these um, we have got a good protective knuckle I would say medium to firm hardness again medium to firm hardness on that one and this one of course has been used a tremendous amount so this one is softer but that is just reflective of how much use that has had then we come on to the thumb so you've got that troublesome um, misplaced uh, thumb attachment that really should should have been much further down to here with this one yeah they've corrected it with a bat wing but again that's still not as good as the original if I show you both there the original one is slightly longer than that one so when it comes to sparring yeah I would say it is allowable for sparring but it's not as good as the original again if you have a look on there the original had rival on the thumb and the 2.0 does not have the rival on the thumb so let's just have a look at the inside of the thumbs as well so there's no air holes on the inside of that thumb there this one as well no air holes and this one in the leather no air holes let's have a look at that ergo lace track you slot the laces across there and you've got that angle on there as well and this is a superb wrist on a boxing glove i would say one of the best wrists on a lace, lace boxing glove that you will get and at the bottom there you've got a rubber badge you've got a rubber badge and also the original had a rubber badge on there as well let's have a look at the face of the glove um, you've got a good grip bar there is no air holes on them again as you're looking there you can see on the original there was sort of the gray and the black where they've gone for all black or on here they've gone the gold and the black there and um, there is as i've said a little bit of finger slippage on uh, this glove here okay so you do lose a bit of finger control when you're opening up um, there was a little bit in there but there was more in this one and none in there so let's have a look at the stitching as you can see i really do think that all of these three gloves are very well made when it comes to the stitching whether they're the 2.0 in the synthetic or the originals where you've got that there in the leather and then on the lining as well let's just have a quick look at the lining and the lining is a soft spongy lining that is comfortable the only thing i would say is you have got that sort of finger movement in this one and then the original lining was there as well again it is a good lining i do like the lining on these gloves okay so let me start off with the weight now these ones are actually an 18 ounce glove and those come out at the left one was 17.9 and the right one was 18 ounces so for a lace glove just slightly under or thereabouts what they needed to be then with these ones these came out these are a 16 ounce glove these came out at 15.6 and 15.6 so these are under slightly under for a lace glove and then these originals in the leather actually these have been used a lot these came out at 15.4 for the left and 15.7 for the right i don't know in the last two or three or four years that years these have been used whether any padding has come away in there and that's made them lighter but that's certainly what they weigh now of course these are leather these are synthetic leather and these are synthetic leather so let's just run through the comfort so this one first of all obviously i've mentioned that thumb um, so that's not not great when it comes to sparring in terms of the actual comfort of the glove you've always got that great wrist support which is from the ergo lace track system which i think is excellent um and the knuckle area very protective and inside there it does feel comfort uh, feel comfortable although you've got a bit too much movement in that thumb there's certainly no areas in there that are sort of pinching not at the front not behind the fingernails the finger pad uh, or the or the thumb even though it's sort of movable it's not uncomfortable with these though 
you can open, open the hand up no problem and there's a little bit of finger slippage on the end there when you do that when I come to this one again you know it's same as that it's a very comfortable glove the only thing I would say is obviously you've got less thumb movement now you've got a bat wing and also with this one in particular when you open up the hand I do find there's a bit of internal lining slippage which means that my fingers are sort of in that position there when I've got it open which obviously you lose the end of the glove and repeatedly as you're doing it it's almost like you haven't got as much control very much like uh, these two gloves as well had the same thing whereby you lost because of the inner lining you lose that finger control when it comes to the originals put them in there open up um, no sort of loss of the end of the fingers when you're opening and again a comfortable glove so let's just bring that round as I say this one is not suitable for sparring so I'm going to score this as a bag glove and on the bag obviously because of that wrist really good wrist support good knuckle protection so it does come out uh, at a decent score for the bag now with this one of course the thumb is fixed I would say it's now suitable for sparring although you have got that finger slippage <clears throat> and then with this one that bat, bat wing no finger slippage at all the leather the great wrist and super durable this has been used probably over a thousand rounds and it's still it's still good for some more rounds I've seen this glove so often it's never really been used on the bags it's always been for sparring but I think for how much it's been used it's still in great shape so let's just go through the cards so we've got in the fit to box bag division we've got style 94 comfort 95 durability 96 sparring not applicable bag 94 value for money 95 at about 160 uk pounds that is 94.8 that's two stars that's a great bag glove then we come on to this one and this one's going to go into the fit to box middleweight lace division for gloves between 101 english pounds and 200 english pounds or 121 us dollars to 250 us dollars style 94 comfort 95 durability 96 in that synthetic leather sparring 92 i think that finger slippage um, and also uh, even though the, th the thumb is fixed i don't think that the thumb is as good as the actual original uh, that bat wing is not as good as the originals so spa 92 bag 94 value for money at 160 uk pounds at 95 and so this comes out at 94.3 one star and a very good uh, glove when it comes to the fit to box scale and then we come on to the original as i say i have scored this already and this is an increase on that last score style 95 i prefer this glove in the leather i think it looks better than the synthetic the synthetic looks a little plasticky in comparison to the leather comfort 95 durability 96 sparring 96 this has been a great sparring glove you've got good control of the fingertips you've got good protection of the hands they're comfortable and also you've got that fantastic wrist lock system bag 95 again i really do think that this is a good uh, bag glove and value for money these are actually you can get these for about 130 english pounds now because these are the originals these will become less and less available of course the value for one of these 96 so i've gone with 95.5 that is three fit to box stars excellent okay so i think that it is great that they have retained the rs1 in the rival lineup um i really do think that the 2.0 um, I know it's in the synthetic and the old ones used to be in the lace. I, I was looking forward to the update. Um, it's not the update that I was hoping for in that I do prefer the original leather version to the synthetic 2.0. Obviously, they made a mistake at the start with the thumb attachment, which again is disappointing, especially from a company like Rival that really should know better than that. Uh, they have, to their credit, put that right. 
All of these gloves have got that fantastic lace track system and I think that Rival should use that on more of their gloves. It is that good and it is equally as good on all three of these gloves. As I say, thanks again to Chris at Pro-Am for sending me through these gloves. I'll send these back to him now and I'll give this back to the guy at the gym and he will probably be sparring in that tomorrow, I would say. But as I say, when it comes to this, I would say that the RS1 2.0 falls a little short in comparison to the leather original. Okay, so, uh, but now you can get the improved version with the Batwing and so that fault has been rectified. So I hope you enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe to Fitterbox channel and I shall speak to you soon.